Oh, Ellie may stop me the other day and said, Curtis, I'm looking at getting into detailing. I want to start up a business soon. What products do you recommend? Well, Ellie may, here you go. Cue the intro. All right, folks. So here is a basic load of what I take out to my details. Yes. About three years ago, I shot a video on this. Uh, as you can see, I've pared it down, changed up some products. Um, as time progressed, you know, I got more experience under my belt. These are the products that I continue to grab nonstop for just my basic details. No paint corrections, no ceramic coatings. I'll do a video later on that. Um, but this is just my go-to for, hey, I want an exterior detail and I don't want a paint correction. I just, you know, want it to be shiny. Cool. I got you. Or, hey, I want an interior detail, deep clean. I got you. Interior is kind of straightforward. So, all right. So let's start with wheels and tires. All right. So for wheels, we've got Superior Products Dark Fury. Uh, this also works as a traffic pre-spray, bugs. Uh, you've seen it in my exterior wash video the other day. I uh, use it as a uh, as a pre-wash. All right. Uh, for iron removers, right now I'm using Fuego by uh, HyperClean. Uh, I do have Smooth Move from Shine Supply, and then using my go-tos are like G-Technic, uh, Iron Remover, or uh, Geon Iron. Um, but I had some of these products on hand. I got to burn through them before I go and order more. All right, for tire shines, we've got Shine Supplies. Forgive me, I don't have the the actual jug. You're just going to have to trust me on this. Uh, Shine Supplies water-based dressing. And then we have Superior Products Coverall. This is, you know, for more of the higher gloss if they want, you know, the, the deep wet look. I can give them that as well. All right, for soaps, I primarily use Cherry Foam. This is ceramic safe, pH neutral. Uh, can't speak badly about it. It's a pound for pound, one of the best soaps I've ever laid my hands on. Um, PNS Absolute for rinseless wash. I do bounce between it and O&R. Uh, no big deal. They're both, you know, relatively the same. All right. For long-term protection, well, let's talk short-term protection first. So for one to three months, I'm going to use Gion Wet Coat. Spray on, rinse off. You've seen it in my other video. Uh, amazing product. Just love the way. It is on the pricier side. It's about 90 bucks for a uh, four or five liter, um, but well worth it. Well worth it. You'll make your money back. Uh, for long term, again, don't have the bottle. I just ordered some more. This is uh, G Technic C2 V3. I usually order it in the 1,000 milliliter jug and just dump it in my 32 ounce bottle. Uh, cost effective because their five liter jug is almost $200. So <laughs> I just go with the 1,000 milliliter and, and order it as necessary. All right, that's it for the exterior. All right, like I said, basic wash, nothing fancy. All right, now we're going to go with uh, our interior. All right, so for APC, again, you'll have to trust me, Green Star by Coach Kimmy. Uh, this is Pole Star by Coach Kimmy. This is my lighter APC. This is this is 100% like most of my go-to. All right. Uh, this works great on light stains, dirt and debris, leaves kind of a UV barrier behind. So pretty cool there. Um, but it's pound for pound, one of the toughest interior cleaners and at like four to one, 10 to one, even, um, multi-dilutable, same with green star. I don't use this a whole lot other than for like rubber floor mats and stuff like that, because it is high pH. And with eight all purpose cleaners, if you do not dilute them right and you use them on plastics in your interior, you will burn it. All right. Same for degreasers. Leave the super clean alone. Get it. Keep it out of the, the interiors. All right. Um, for rubber floor mats, when I dress them, I use Coach Kimmy Gum Effects. Uh, I've heard there's some issues. Wow. I got a B. Okay. Go away, B. Shoo, B. Shoo, B. Shoo, shoo. Okay. All right. So I use Coach Kimmy's Gum Effects for... Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Where was I? Coach Kimmy's Gum Effects. All right. So I've heard there might be some issues with Amazon right now uh, getting it. You can order it off a detailed image too. Um, you'll have to pay shipping there. But if you're a Prime member, you know, Amazon's where you, where you probably want to go. Um, but anyway, yeah. Coach Kimmy Gum Effects. Works real well. Non-slip. Uh, I'll do a video on it. 
I've got some more on order from Detailed Image. I'm waiting to get it because I'm almost empty. So I'll be doing a video soon on this stuff. All right, windows, glass. I use 3D Super Glass Cleaner. Now, uh, I've heard that this is hard to get. Uh, so as you can see, I mixed up two gallons with it and I've only used, you know, that much. So I got a ways to go. But once I burn through this, I do have, um, I do often use Shine Supplies Sunshine. Uh, that's dilutable as well. It comes in a concentrated form and works just as good. All right, for stains, for my enzyme, I've got BioBreaks Citrus. All right, that's a pretty good enzyme remover. Gets in, has encapsulating abilities, and just lifts out the smell and gunk. I've got Flex Citrusol for my pre-spray for stains. And then last but not least for my rinse, I've got Flex Ice. Um, in my last video uh, from three years ago, I talked about putting... Uh, Oh, whatever dry slurry in my extractor. I no longer run anything in my extractor, but just water. Um, I use these all out of bottles, out of spray bottles, and they work just fine. All right, folks. So there's my product lineup in a nutshell. Um, no, I don't go just one specific brand. Uh, I have a multitude of different ones. Like I said, I'm not trying to push this on anybody. This is kind of just to give an idea of what I use probably change in a year. I don't know. Um, definitely, definitely my staples are wet coat, uh, cherry foam, dark fury, gum effects, uh, C2V3. Those are, those are all my staples, right? But all the other stuff, uh, oh, and coverall for solvent based dressings, because I haven't found any other ones that I really like. Um, but as far as water-based dressings or rinseless washes or, you know, uh, oh, Polestar, Polestar, I'll, I'll never quit using that. That stuff's amazing. But as far as like APCs, window cleaners, glass cleaners, um, rinseless washes, iron removers, water-based tire dressings, there's a multitude out there. All right. Um, don't get caught up in, you got to use this, you got to use this, you got to use this, except for chemical guys. Fuck chemical guys. And with that, I'll end it. So drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And as always, we'll go from there.